Let's do our top five saddest tear jerking movies of all time. Lead us into it, bro. Grave of the Fireflies is not on my list. Number oh, five. <laughs> why did you start by saying the words? <laughs> all righty. Top five saddest movies of all time. Brody edition. Number five. <laughs> The Christmas shoes. <laughs> can't. I can't even. I don't oh. even really want to get into it. It's about a little boy's mom dying at Christmas. All he wants to get her is a pair of shoes, and he doesn't have the money, and a stranger helps him out. It's a Hallmark movie. It's the only Hallmark movie I would ever say is good. Number four, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. I don't think I need to go into that too much. I feel like people know about that one, so. But if you don't, mm -hmm. look into it, but be very cautious, because ouch. Number three, A Monster Calls. See, I was gonna put that on my list, but I cried a lot more reading the book than i did watching the movie so fair enough i feel like that book was written by me in the future it's insane to me number two my girl my girl also probably attributes to my phobia of bees a little bit uh, but it is the saddest thing of mm. all time and when she is screaming for him that he can't see without his glasses uh, even though he just died i just yeah, that's rough. And number one, if you just watched our video that came out on Monday, you're going to know already, and it is Grave of the Fireflies. It is the saddest <laughs> movie I have ever seen in my life. I hated watching it, and I loved the movie, and I hate it so much, but I love it. My turn. Top five saddest movies of all time, and this was really tough because there are a lot of sad movies out there that I've cried at. Grave of the Fireflies is not on my list. Number oh, five. Why did you start by saying the words? I was so excited it made your number five. Piece of shit. Okay, go. <laughs> number five. My girl. Hey. Yeah. I have two movies on here that messed me up as a kid, and that's that's number five. Number four, Bridge to Terabithia. Okay. That'll be the other childhood movie that really messed me up. Number three, and I don't know if you've seen this movie, Hachi. That's Richard Gere, right? Yeah. Yeah, I have. Just <sighs> dogs, man. And it's not even the dog dying that's the sad part. Spoiler alert, Richard Gere is the one who dies, and Hachi continues to go back to the train station and wait for him even after he's died, and waits for him every single day until Hachi dies. It's like that episode of Futurama. Yes, I wouldn't be surprised if they were inspired by that, to be honest. That would make my list if it was a movie. That episode of Futurama would make my list. <laughs> Number two, Boy in the Striped Pajamas. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. What a fun time. We should rewatch it. Get your friends together, some snacks. Pajama party. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's okay. Number one. This is only because of the opening. I had to give it to Up. I've never been so destroyed. Out of the five that I gave, I think that's the one I ugly cried at the most. My honorable mention was Toy Story 3 for that one scene where they almost get incinerated. Okay. All right. My honorable mention is Where the Red Fern Grows. Oh, man. Do you remember that? Do you remember watching that? I do that? remember that. And the, dog, yeah. the dogs fight a mountain lion, and one of them gets mortally wounded and dies, and then the other one's just so sad that it dies from grief. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the dog movies will get you every time. Pajama party!